Abortion rights are up for discussion in the Supreme Court this term because of one case, a challenge to restrictions in Mississippi. It's about the Constitution of the United States and what rights are clearly, clearly defined, those that are not protected and those that are implied. Our Verified team has more on what this ruling means for the rights that are not spelled out for us. Abortion rights were up for discussion in the Supreme Court this term because of one case, a challenge to restrictions in Mississippi. It's also about the Constitution of the United States and what rights are clearly defined, which are implied, and which are not protected. The Roe versus Wade decision back in 1973 came down to right to privacy, which usually rests on due process rights in the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, which protects the right to life, liberty, and property. But this latest decision says the right to an abortion was wrongly considered an implied constitutional right in Roe versus Wade. So let's verify what other decisions rest on those implied rights. Our sources are Caroline Fredrickson, Georgetown law professor, and Robert Peck, constitutional law expert at the Center for constitutional litigation. There's an interesting uh, uh, philosophical uh, decision that's embodied in this opinion, and that is, you know, to what extent are rights impl implied by the Constitution? This opinion asserts that abortion is not one of those implied rights. There are other subsequent decisions uh, dealing with um, uh, uh, equal marriage, gay marriage, um, and so forth that rest on the same foundation. The idea of an implied right to privacy is the foundation of these other big decisions, like Obergefell versus Hodges, the case that legalized gay marriage, and Loving versus Virginia, the case that legalized interracial marriage, as well as Griswold versus Connecticut, which affords married couples the constitutional right to buy and use contraceptives, and Lawrence versus Texas, which made same-sex sexual activity legal in 2003. As for whether those cases are at risk, it's hard to say. Justice Samuel Alito argued the abortion issue is, quote, critically different from any other right that this court has held to fall within the 14th Amendment's protection of liberty. But for nearly 50 years, abortion had been considered a procedure that fell under the implied rights umbrella. It basically is an invitation to those who oppose those decisions to come back to the Supreme Court, frame their arguments the same way that this case the opinion in this case was framed, and then uh, see if you can get the same result. So while some legal analysts say those other rights are addressed in the majority opinion, others are concerned this decision is like a roadmap for overturning those rights as well. The Supreme Court decides what rights are guaranteed in the Constitution, explicit or implied. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.